Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn about fuzzy string matching using python, okay? And before I explain about fuzzy string matching itself, let's see a scenario where we may need it, okay? So let's say you have some data, raw data from a survey, okay? And in that survey the users were required to provide their city names. So different users can provide the input in any kind of way right let's say they have to enter the city name as delhi so it can be entered in different ways like this one or this or this or this right or simply if they have to write their city name as ahmedabad they can write it in different ways okay so they can make some spelling mistakes you can say or they can uh, not put the capital letter at the right place right so there can be any kind of um, non centralization of the city name here right and now your task is that you have um, a big list of the correct city names the standard city names and you want to enter those standard city names in your db corresponding to each user right so this is my task then what can i do um, as you have must understood the problem the problem is that given a city name i have to find the best city best standard city name matching that target okay so this is the the problem is okay um now this is where the concept of fuzzy logic steps in so you must be already know, uh, already knowing about the binary logic in binary logic you are given a condition and the truth value of that condition is binary which is it can be either true or false right that's why it's binary too but in case of fuzzy logic the truth value of your condition can be any real number between 0 to 1 so basically instead of saying that anything is true or false you are just um giving it any value between 0 to 1 so let's say um let's take the case of water the temperature of the water you can say that it's um hot okay or it's moderately hot it's normal or it's moderately cold and then it's cold so you are just dividing it into more um, parts right so this is how fuzzy logic works and now in the case of string matching right in the case of string matching how we can apply that so consider the case if the all the users must have given you the names of the cities in the standard format already in that case your task was to simply do binary string matching you just check if this name is matching to your target name or not if it is matching then you found the match otherwise not right so that is binary string matching but in case of fuzzy string matching what we're gonna do is we're gonna be a bit fuzzy about matching two strings we are not give we are not going to say if it matches or not we are going to give it a value about how much it matches okay and how much it matches it is calculated by um, calculating the dissimilarity between two strings in the form of a value called distance okay so distance metric is taken here so basically given two string you find the distance between two strings using some um, algorithm okay so that is what um, fuzzy string matching is all about and to do that using python we are going to use fuzzy fuzzy so fuzzy fuzzy is a popular package and it's a third party python library and you can simply pip install fuzzy fuzzy and then use it so let's say how let's see how to use it in our um, scenario okay so first of all you will need to install it like this sudo pip3 install fuzzy fuzzy um, okay so it didn't ask for my password okay so fine um, I have already installed fuzzy fuzzy so now um, first of all let me um, get this complete city list first of all right so with open cities.txt in read mode as f um, cities is equal to f dot read dot split slash n so why did that because the city names are separated by new lines right so that's why I did that so now if I try to see my cities look at that it's a big list uh, actually these are 500 cities so yeah so it's 500 cities list okay and now the next task is um, 
given a city name I have to predict the best matches for that city name right so for that I'm going to make a simple function called def um, get matches in which I will be passing the query I will be passing the choices and I will be passing the limit which I am setting as 3 by default so my result is equal to um, okay so let me import fuzzy wuzzy yeah so from fuzzy wuzzy import the process module so process module is what we are going to use in fuzzy wuzzy so result is equal to process dot extract so extract method is used here in which you pass the query you pass the possible choices and then limit is set as um, how many choices that you want in your result okay so limit is equal to limit and then I return the result I, I return the results okay let me make that results that's more better so my function is defined so now my task last task is to just test this um, function so let me pass something like um, Delhi let me screw up its spelling okay and then choices and then uh, the limit is set as default so let it be there okay so look at that I ran that and look at that what I get I get Delhi Tiruneveli New Delhi so I think I am getting this second result because of ELI there right and then I get New Delhi so look at that um, these values along with these matches it's 89 it means that it's um, the matching of these two string is 89% okay then it's this thing it's matching 68% it's 68% so it just sorts them according to matching and then provides me the result so I get this result right so let me try it on Ahmedabad as well Ahmedabad look at that I got some results right so this is how it works let me screw up its spelling a bit look at that I'm still getting Ahmedabad with 94% um, chances that it's the correct spelling right so this is how um, fuzzy wuzzy works and it's a pretty cool library and you can use it in different scenarios so that um, you can get um, the fuzzy string matching to work for yourself right so it's a pretty cool thing to do and it makes your tasks easier in several ways so I hope it was clear if you still have any doubts you can post them in the comment section below thanks for watching